Hey everyone, TechnoMentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to stop sharing your Safari browser history between your Apple devices or your iOS devices. Now, if you have an Apple account that you use across your devices, it's going to share things like Safari history. So, whatever you're doing on your iPhone, it's going to also appear on your iPad and also your MacBook or any other iOS device or Apple device you have. But in order to turn this off, we need to do a couple things so that it doesn't share the history. So first thing on, on your iPhone here, we're going to start with going to our settings and then go ahead and look for Safari here. So we're going to see Safari. We're going to click on that and if we scroll a little bit further here. We're going to see settings for website. So it says share across device. So if you don't want to share across device, we need to turn that setting up. And next thing we want to do is going to be going into our Apple ID account here. We're going to go into the main setting, click on our Apple ID account here, click on iCloud, and then show all. And then we see the Safari here. We want to turn that off here. Now, if we do that, it's going to also turn off all the Safari data. So none of the data will share between your other I, uh, Apple devices that use the same Apple account. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and, and click on turn off. And finally, another way to, to ensure that there's no sharing between your devices on Safari is if you're using handoff, you may need to turn this off. Now, this is an extra step. You may not need to do this, but if you do, you want to check if you're still seeing the Safari history appearing, you want to go into your settings here. From there, go to general, go to airplane handoff, and turn off this handoff feature. The handoff feature basically lets you start something on your uh, one device and then continue with the other device when you pick it up. So if you turn that off, it will not do that because if you're on a Safari browsing and then you open up Safari, it might transfer that over. So you're going to turn that off as well. So there's three settings you need to do. And now you might have to also do this on your other devices. So if you did it on your iPhone and you want to ensure that it's not there on your iPad, you also want to go into your iPad setting here, starting with the main settings here. We're going to look for same thing, Safari. Just go over and again ensure that if it does have that. So this one is not signed in here, so it's not going to show up for me. But same exact process by going to Safari and then your Apple ID, click on it, turn off i um the iCloud using Safari. But that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.